Welcome to the Shoe Rainer Joint Channel on this, the 50th anniversary of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. And today I decided I would do a drawing of him uh, in kind of remembrance and celebration of his life. So let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's do it. OK, to draw John F. Kennedy, we need to decide how big he's going to be on our piece of paper. And I'm going to think I'm going to do him about that size. I'll just <laughs> raise that line. And then I want to find the halfway line. And the halfway line from there, or the quarterway line, that's going to be his hairline. And then this is not, that's the halfway line, but you want to come down a little bit from there. And then split that difference there. That would be the tip of his nose. So that'd be nose, this will be mouth, this will be eyes, and this is his chin down here. And then we want to get, um, a, a width as well so I'm gonna tear off a bit of paper and if we get this this kind of height here but we want an extra little bit and that will be the width on the eyes round about like that and then his eyes will actually be just more than just more than a third so this middle section should be slightly wider than the outer sections now I'm gonna make him smile <laughs> a lot of the portraits that you see of him he's he's not smiling and he's got quite a wide chin so I'm gonna bring that sort of down like that and I have to bring his eyebrows up there slightly kind of furrowed and then they curl around there and his eyes are very hooded so you want these kind of slanting down eyelids like that but then the eyes will come in there a little bit and they'll around a little bit like that and we'll have them you won't see the whole of the eyeball because they're hooded by the eyelids and and then he has these very deep bags under his eyes and all the worries of state <laughs> now here with his mouth what I'm going to do is just do a slight little curve so it's kind of like a gull wing and then that will also kind of curve out so it's going to be kind of like that and then we're going to want to have these enormous teeth these great big as we would have called them <laughs> in those days american teeth <laughs> and the i know in those days the americans would talk about the british mouth we had terrible teeth um i don't think we really looked after our teeth and And the, the National Health... Did we have the National Health? Yes, when the National Health System was in by then and they were just kind of ripping people's teeth out and giving them false teeth. <laughs> and I suppose during the war as well, people's teeth had got bad. And, um, and the Americans, of course, always always looked after their teeth. <laughs> and always had wonderful teeth. And that was the first thing the British ever thought about Americans. They have amazing teeth. And, and I think still today... I think still today Americans spend a lot more money on their teeth than the British do. I think it's probably the national health system has made us think, oh well that's their job and not uh, not our responsibility to look after our teeth. So here we go. Right, we're going to want his hair kind of coming up there and there'll be a parting around about there so that we'll go around and then that big hair Kennedy had that was going to come up along there and I think I'm probably maybe overdoing his jawline that looks more like his brother doesn't it who yeah one of his brothers I'm trying to remember which one is that anyway um, um, we're gonna want a tie collar and tie and jacket there now he does have quite heavy eyebrows 
on the insides here but then they kind of fade out a little bit as they go around the corner um, and then we have these heavy eyelids and I'm just going to put dots around there okay right and then this will be coming down very heavy but his eyelid will come down there so that's the eyebrow no the, the, the heavy eyelid kind of thing on the top anyway so I'm going to bring that around there and then just dot it and then I'll put the eyeball in there like that and then he does have these very heavy bags under his eyes but I'm going to do those in kind of dots rather than big thick lines because that will make them look far too heavy and then his nose is kind of like that just a little little corner in the mouth there and all those amazing teeth which I'm not going to put in I'm just putting in as a block really I'm not going to get involved in putting in all individual teeth because that just makes it look really messy when you start doing that um, now also he has these kind of cheekbones in there so you're going to want those lines and the little laughter lines at the edges of his eyes and then we want to think about his hair his ears don't really have any earlobes. They just sort of come straight down and wiggle about like that. I'm doing this because this is the 50th anniversary of the assassination of John F. Kennedy, which I do remember. I think, you know, they always say everybody remembers what they were doing. And I remember I was watching the TV and I was very, very young. and. I don't think I really understood what was going on. I don't think I really knew who President Kennedy was at the time. Um, and I think a lot of my memories have been sort of coloured by all the news reports and everything and things I've learned as I've grown up. But I do remember at the time the, there was just a camera pointing at the hospital for what seemed to me like hours and hours and hours. And I just learned that it could only have been about two hours or something at the most. And um, and everybody in shock. Uh, now his hair comes rather strangely up like that. <laughs> and then we're going to want to get this little kind of wave in there. And then all kind of waves around like that. And... Um, and I remember being very cross because I think it was a TV programme I wanted to watch, you know, that I watched every week. It wasn't on because of President Kennedy news reports. And I, I just remember this very fuzzy picture which must have been sent over by satellite. So I'm not sure satellite was even going there. I don't know how they got the picture. It must have been just a, a blank picture or something that they were just showing. Um, and it was just of a, an ambulance outside a hospital and it was very boring to a five or six year old child, I remember that. But then that also sort of reminds me of 9-11 uh, and I remember my kids were at school when that happened and my wife and I, when they came home from school, my wife and I were just sat in front of the TV completely stunned. And I was talking to my son this week about it and he was saying he didn't really know what was going on but he just <laughs> came in and there was this weird atmosphere where I, I think we just sat watching the TV at about one o'clock here it happened and and then kind of went to bed at ten o'clock at night and it was just so intense. Um, and it must have been something similar for... Kennedy's generation but I mean I was just very very young but somehow I was kind of brought up in in his wake and particularly the uh, the space race 
and you know, I was mad about space. I wanted to be an astronaut, <laughs> like many children of my age did. And let me just get this angle right there. And and of course the whole moon mission, I mean it's slightly wider neck there, the whole moon mission and everything was really down to, you know, Kennedy's leadership and that one speech. And I, I, I always feel that something similar could be done today. Someone could make a speech and say, we are going to, you know, invent a new power system or something like that. We're going to, you know, we're going to sort out solar energy so that we never need to pay for energy again. And if somebody made that decision and put a whole country like the United States to work, actually, I think the Japanese are starting to think that way now themselves. Um, then, you know, I think you could solve the world energy problems very, very quickly if everybody put their minds to it, like they did with the space mission. When you're sure that the ink is dry, you can erase the pencil lines. I'm going to be using my Copic Chow pens, and this is Milky White E51. And you need to leave some areas untouched. So kind of top of the eyebrows there. Uh, so I'll go underneath the eyebrows and so the top of the bridge of the nose um, you want to leave untouched um, probably a little bit on the cheeks there as well and now I'm changing to fruit pink I'm going to do all these kind of shadowy areas and he's got these big cheekbones here as well Oh, it's picking up some of the ink, which is doesn't usually do that. I think it might be the paper I'm using, actually. Um, I haven't let it dry long enough. And certainly his top lip will want to be a bit pinker. And under his cheeks there. A little bit of on the lips. <laughs> and we want some shadow on his throat there. And I'm going to leave some little areas of white on his hair for highlight. Just a little kind of ridge across the top there. And down the side here. And I'm also going to use this brown to just kind of make the ears a bit darker there. And maybe... Maybe a bit more shadow and also under there. And he's got kind of greeny brown eyes, so I'll put those in there like that. His teeth aren't going to be totally white, so I'm going to put a little bit of shade in there like that. And I'm also going to put some shade in underneath his shirt there, maybe a bit round there and just on the side of his tie. And I'm just gonna color his suit in in black. Just make it really simple and kind of graphic. And his tie as well. And now I think about it, he probably should have a little pin, shouldn't he? On his lapel, which is probably on the wrong side. No, that's the right side, that's okay. So we're gonna do that. Put a little bit of blue in there and then uh, there we are. And I think I just need a little bit more shade in the eyes just to kind of darken up at the top there like that and on his eyebrows and then also I think his hair needs to be a bit darker as well Being a little bit unfinished and scribbled there so I'll just there you are how to draw John F Kennedy well I hope you enjoyed that and if you did why not go and see this video where I show you how to draw Yuri Gagarin the man who made Kennedy reach for the moon uh, or just go and try the mystery drawing Either way, make sure you're subscribed for the Shoe Render Drawing channel. New videos every Monday and Friday. Uh, go and check out my website, why not? And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.